Hello friends, today we will solve the next problem in interview preparation kit on hacker rank. In the last video, we solved one of the problems and that's why it's showing 1 out of 69. So let's begin. And we were in the warm up challenges and we had solved the first problem. Now the next problem is counting valleys and its score is 15. In the last video, we had solved Sock Merchant. Its score was 10. So let's begin. So it says that uh, Gary is a hiker and whenever he travels, he counts his steps and he either, he either travels uphill or downhill. So to understand this, uh, so either uh, Gary takes a step from the sea level, if this is sea level, level 0, up, up or down, down. He doesn't travel on the same level. And uh, a mountain, as you all know, is raised platform above the sea level. So this is mountain. And valleys are some depressions areas between the mountains. So this is a valley. So obviously when will the valley occur? When uh, Gary is traveling down, down, one or more steps, then up, up, and when he reaches back to sea level, then we will count this as one valley. Similarly, if he again comes back to sea level and takes some steps down and goes back up, then at this point, here we will not count it and when it just reaches the sea level back, then we will increment the count of valley. In this question, we are asked to count the valleys. We are not concerned with the mountains. So we are given a function count valleys and which will return the number of valleys. And uh, the input will be an array of a string where either the characters will be d d or u u u so d denotes down the uh, downward steps and u denotes upward steps and this is the constraint n is between 2 and 10 to the power 6 so let's think uh, how we can solve it so we are not concerned with mountain so we can start with a level variable which will be initialized to 0 Whenever Gary takes a up step, so this string will contain characters u, u, d, d, and so on. So whenever he takes a up step, we will increment the level. And whenever he takes a down step, we will decrement the level. And we will see that we are not concerned at all with this part. So we will uh, increment the number of valleys only at this point. So he comes down and just when he reaches back the sea level, we will count that as one valley. So when he was at minus one level, that is this point, and the next step is up, then we will increment the count of valley. Because it's possible that uh, if this is sea level, he's here, he takes a few steps up, but before reaching the sea level, he goes back down again. And then maybe a few times and then reaches here back at the sea level. So this is counted as one valley. So we are just concerned with when he is at minus one level and next step he takes is uphill. So that's all. So with this simple approach, let's solve this problem. Uh, so again, C++ is uh, my language of choice. You can change it as per your requirement. And you don't have to bother about reading the input. The first number denotes the number of characters and then followed by a string of that many characters, either U or D. So this part is done by HackerRank for you. You just need to complete this counting values function, which will return the number of valleys. So I will keep two variables. One will be label 
and initially the level is sea level that is zero and also I will keep a count of valleys so initially it's zero and finally we will return valleys number of valleys and the whole logic goes between this so we have to iterate through the characters of this string actually n was not required in this case I feel so we can iterate through the characters so this c will iterate through all the characters and what we have to do if character is u then what we have to do one thing is that we will increment the level and but before that remember this point that he is at minus one level and he takes an up step then we will increment the number of valleys so first check that if his current level is minus one so this is the only point of interest for us then what we will do we will increment the valleys and irrespective of this we have to increment the level every time he takes u and otherwise we have to decrement the level and finally we will return the values that's all so this was a pretty simple question let's first run the code to check if it's correct and if you are satisfied then we will go ahead and submit it so for this case it returns one and our test case passes because here up down one mountain then down down u down u q so here two steps down we are not concerned with mountain this is a mountain so ignore it and here level is zero so down down minus two minus one again down minus two minus one and back to sea level so this is one valley so you see here the level was minus one and then he took one up step then we incremented its value similarly in this case you can try the same thing on this one and now we feel that our code is correct so we will go ahead and submit and wait for all the test cases to pass so it will run through all the test cases so in this case there were 21 test cases and our code passes all of those 21 and I earned 15 points here so that was also a pretty easy problem so first you should spend some time on understanding the problem and when you are understood it you can code it so this was a very small code so thanks for watching see you in the next next video